Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to talk about a very important topic that affects millions of people worldwide, asthma. As you may know, asthma is a chronic condition that can cause breathing difficulties, and it affects people of all ages. In this video, we'll be sharing some valuable information about asthma that you might not have heard before. So, stay tuned to learn more. Before we get started, we'd like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. Your support helps us continue to create helpful content like this, and it means the world to us. So, if you find this video informative, please take a moment to show your appreciation. The first question we're going to answer is, what is asthma? Asthma is a chronic respiratory disease that causes inflammation in the airways, making it difficult to breathe. This inflammation can cause the airways to narrow, leading to wheezing, coughing, and shortness of breath. Asthma can be triggered by a variety of things, such as pollen, dust mites, pet dander, and cold air. It's estimated that over 300 million people worldwide suffer from asthma, and the numbers continue to rise. While there is currently no cure for asthma, it can be managed effectively with the right treatment plan. So, if you or someone you know has been diagnosed with asthma, it's important to work closely with a healthcare provider to develop a plan that works for you. Now, let's talk about the symptoms of asthma. The most common symptoms of asthma include wheezing, coughing, shortness of breath, and chest tightness. These symptoms can range from mild to severe, and they can be different for everyone. Some people may experience symptoms only during certain times, such as during exercise or at night, while others may have symptoms all the time. It's important to pay attention to your symptoms and report them to your healthcare provider, as they can help determine the best course of treatment for you. The next question we'll answer is, how is asthma diagnosed? To diagnose asthma, a healthcare provider will perform a physical exam and ask about your symptoms and medical history. They may also perform a lung function test, which measures how well your lungs are working. Additionally, they may use a peak flow meter, which measures how much air you can exhale. If your healthcare provider suspects that you have asthma, they may also recommend a chest x-ray or allergy testing to rule out other conditions. With the right diagnosis, you can work with your healthcare provider to develop an effective treatment plan. Moving on to the next question, what triggers asthma attacks? Asthma attacks can be triggered by a variety of things, such as allergens, exercise, cold air, and infections. Additionally, stress, smoke, and strong odors can also trigger asthma symptoms. It's important to identify your triggers and try to avoid them. Now, let's talk about the common symptoms of asthma. The most common symptom is difficulty breathing, which can feel like tightness in the chest, shortness of breath, or wheezing. Other symptoms include coughing, particularly at night or early in the morning, and feeling tired or weak during exercise. Some people with asthma may also experience anxiety or a feeling of panic during an asthma attack. If you are experiencing any of these symptoms, it's important to see a doctor. They can perform tests to determine if you have asthma and provide you with an appropriate treatment plan. The most common treatments for asthma include inhalers, which can provide quick relief during an asthma attack, and long-term medications, which can help to prevent asthma symptoms from occurring in the first place. Currently, there is no cure for asthma. Asthma is a chronic condition that can be managed, but not cured. However, with proper treatment and management, most people with asthma can live healthy, active lives. Treatment for asthma typically involves a combination of medications and lifestyle changes. Medications include inhalers, which provide quick relief during an asthma attack, and long-term medications, which help to prevent asthma symptoms from occurring in the first place. Lifestyle changes can include avoiding triggers such as smoke, allergens, and strong odors, as well as exercising regularly and maintaining a healthy diet. It's important to work closely with your doctor to develop a treatment plan that is tailored to your specific needs. By following your treatment plan and staying informed about your condition, you can help to prevent asthma attacks and manage your symptoms effectively. There are several treatment options available for asthma, and the best treatment plan will depend on the severity and frequency of your symptoms. In general, treatment for asthma involves a combination of medications and lifestyle changes. Medications for asthma include quick relief inhalers, which provide immediate relief during an asthma attack, and long-term control medications, which help to prevent asthma symptoms from occurring in the first place. Quick relief inhalers contain medications such as albuterol that help to relax the muscles around the airways, making it easier to breathe. 
Long-term control medications include inhaled corticosteroids, leukotriene modifiers, and immunomodulators that work to reduce inflammation in the airways and prevent symptoms from occurring. Lifestyle changes can also help to manage asthma symptoms. Avoiding triggers such as smoke, dust, and allergens is important, as well as regular exercise to maintain overall health and lung function. A healthy diet, sufficient rest, and stress management can also help to manage asthma symptoms. In addition to these treatments, it's important to work closely with your doctor to develop a personalized treatment plan that is tailored to your specific needs. This may include regular checkups and monitoring of your symptoms to make sure your treatment plan is working effectively. Managing asthma in children requires a comprehensive approach that involves parents, healthcare providers, and the child. Treatment plans for children with asthma typically involve a combination of medications, environmental control measures, and lifestyle changes. Medications for children with asthma may include quick relief inhalers, which provide immediate relief during an asthma attack, and long-term control medications, which help to prevent asthma symptoms from occurring in the first place. These medications may be given through an inhaler or nebulizer, which is a device that converts medication into a mist that is inhaled through a mask or mouthpiece. Environmental control measures can also help to manage asthma symptoms in children. This may include reducing exposure to common triggers such as cigarette smoke, dust mites, pet dander, and pollen. Parents can also take steps to ensure their child's living environment is clean and free of allergens, such as washing bedding regularly in hot water and using air filters. In addition, lifestyle changes such as regular exercise, a healthy diet, and good sleep habits can help to manage asthma symptoms in children. It's important for parents to work closely with their child's healthcare provider to develop a personalized treatment plan that is tailored to their child's specific needs. Parents can also play an active role in managing their child's asthma by monitoring their symptoms, ensuring they take their medications as prescribed, and teaching their child how to use their inhaler properly. Regular checkups with a healthcare provider are also important to monitor the child's asthma control and adjust their treatment plan as needed. Asthma is a chronic respiratory condition that cannot be entirely prevented, but there are steps you can take to reduce your risk of developing asthma or experiencing asthma symptoms. One of the most important things you can do to prevent asthma is to avoid exposure to common triggers, such as cigarette smoke, air pollution, and allergens like dust mites, pollen, and pet dander. If you have a family history of asthma, it's important to be aware of your increased risk and take steps to reduce your exposure to triggers. Maintaining good overall health through regular exercise, a healthy diet, and stress management can also help to reduce your risk of developing asthma. Allergies and asthma are closely related. In fact, allergic reactions are one of the most common triggers for asthma symptoms. When someone with allergies is exposed to an allergen, such as pollen or pet dander, their immune system reacts by producing an antibody called immunoglobulin E IgE. The IgE then triggers the release of chemicals in the body, including histamine, which cause allergy symptoms such as sneezing, itching, and runny nose. In some people with asthma, exposure to allergens can also trigger the airways in the lungs to become inflamed and narrow, leading to asthma symptoms such as wheezing, coughing, and difficulty breathing. In addition to allergens, other triggers such as respiratory infections, exercise, and stress can also cause asthma symptoms. However, for many people with asthma, allergies are a major trigger, and identifying and avoiding allergens can be an important part of managing their condition. If you have allergies and asthma, it's important to work closely with your healthcare provider to develop a personalized treatment plan that addresses both conditions. This may include medications to control allergy symptoms, as well as medications to manage asthma symptoms and prevent asthma attacks. In conclusion, allergies and asthma are closely related, and exposure to allergens is a common trigger for asthma symptoms. If you have allergies and asthma, it's important to work with your healthcare provider to develop a personalized treatment plan that addresses both conditions. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and information about managing asthma and allergies, and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful.